Giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and it's a sincere shalom warm to the doctrine that's out there pushing its sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say the water Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving me and the fellow Akin the opportunity to do your lessons in these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, the Latinos. And the Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, the ones the law, statutes, and commandments, as well as the promises were given to. Okay, Shalom Wong. So, uh, real quick video, real, real quick video, because uh, the brother already went into it. All right, another pestilence on the rise. Now, we, you know, been seeing this uh, lately, uh, monkeypox thing, you know, which eventually we're not going to be able to say that. You know, you know, you already know that's that bullshit's coming. All right. Um, <clears throat> You know, uh, uh, so-called, you know, new pestilence on the rise or whatever, monkeypox. Because uh, you don't really hear from uh, the C-virus like that anymore. So, you know, they got to, you know, push out the next big thing. And once again, you know, the point of this is the Lord is the one that's doing this, man. The Lord is the one. Let's let's read it. Let's read it. I'm not, I'm not going to make this video long. There's not much to say on this, man. You know? There's not much to say on this. We 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 we've been blowing the trumpet for the longest through, through the spirit of power. Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Look, we've been we've been blowing the trumpet for a long time, man. All right, been blowing that trumpet for a long ass time. Um, se uh, Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse one. All right, and like I said, it's gonna be a real quick video. It says, "Woe be unto Babylon." So like, it will be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria." All right, heathen, heathen nations, man. All right, Edomites and all you know, all these other heathen nations, man. All right, and all that, and all that infrastructure and all that, all that power is there. Woe be unto that bullshit, right? Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair, bewail your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Your destruction is at hand. The stuff you see happening all around the world right now, man, is 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 the destruction of this you know this place at hand all right you're seeing this place being torn apart piece by piece all right there have been certain restaurants there have been certain stores that have been that have not opened up since this since this uh thing kicked off man you know since this whole sickness kicked off you 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 had store even from where we at, we stay in that camp at man you know there the store there was a store behind this and that store hasn't been open since, man. All right. That store has not been open since. So, you know, you're seeing this place being ripped apart, man. All right. It says, um, verse three. It says, a sword, a sword is sent up upon you. All right. And who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you. And what is he that may drive them away? So the Lord is pretty. Let's read verse six. It says, "May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood." It says, "Or may any, may anyone quench the fire in stubble, when it, uh, when it hath begun, uh, to burn." So what is the Lord saying in those in those uh, few verses that I just read? The Lord is saying that when I send these things, there's not a damn thing you could do about it. All right. When I do these things, there's not a damn thing you you can do about it. All right. There ain't, ain't, ain't shit you could do. Right. A, a a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? When the sword when the sword comes, when when that when the, when the Lord swings that sword, you can't stop it. There is no uh no 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 kung fu shit where you're able to block that sword. No, the Lord gonna break that sword that you got. And it's going to dash you, man. And a, and, a, and a, a sword ain't nothing but an instrument of destruction. I keep saying it. A sword ain't nothing but an instrument of destruction. That's all it is. So whatever comes your way, whatever destruction comes your way, the Lord said what? I, you know, you can't do nothing about it. You can't do a thing, damn thing about it. All right? Uh, it says, a fire is sent among you and who may quench it? So, you know, when the fire comes... You, you can't do anything about it. You know, the Lord is pretty much bragging about his power here, man. As he always does. 
All right. A fire, uh, plagues, plagues are sent to you. And what is he that may turn them, may, may turn them away? So, you know, it's going to be plague after pestilence after pestilence after pestilence, man. And that, that's even good. That even goes to pestilence of the mind. All right. So, so that's what it, that's what it goes towards. All right. You can't do it. You can't do a thing, a damn thing about it. All right. Let's, let, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to jump down because, again, man, these people, these people aren't ready for what the hell is getting ready to come, man. We've been telling you that, look, this, this whole um, C virus thing that's been going around, you know, we've been telling you that ain't nothing but a trial run, man. You know, we, we, we've been telling you that there's going to be more. And we praise the we praise the Lord for it, man. That there's more. This place is this place is gone, man. This place is is polluted as hell, man. We we need a savior. We need to get the hell out of here. All right. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse seventy four. All right. It says, "Hear, O ye, right, my beloved, say if the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, who will be considered his beloved? All right." His beloved will be considered Israelites, all right. But within, within, as um, the book of Isaiah talked about, my service shall eat, you know. But you will be hungry or whatever, you know. Um, uh, uh, uh and you can read above that and pretty much explain that. But that, but, but his beloved, or who he's talking to, look, watch this. It said, "Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same." So again. His beloved is talking about the Israelites, the so-called black, Latino, and Native American person. But within that, see, this is where you got to listen, man. Within that, in that category is the elect of Israel. So with so within Israelites, because we know two-thirds have to, have to be destroyed. All right? The Lord is not delivering two-thirds from the time of trouble, from these times of trouble that's getting ready to come, man. All right? He will. He well. Let me say he he is, but when he's ready to when he's ready to completely destroy this place, that's when all Israel is going to be saved. But that's not what the elect. So the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, it's going it's going to be the time or again Jacob's trouble. That's you know the Lord is going to turn his back on on you people, man, and y'all going to see how it feels when the Lord turn his back on y'all motherfuckers, man. All right. It says, "Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High." is your guide all right this is obviously something something that you people uh don't do that people don't do your so-called black latino native american person don't do they they bow down to the woman they were they celebrate holidays they bow down to esau they bow down to a woman they, they celebrate holidays they just do whatever it is they want to do you eat pork crab shrimp even after they after they heard that you're not supposed to do that and all you gotta do is look up why you're not supposed to eat that, and you and then you can equate that to the scriptures. It's like, oh, okay, that's why the Lord told me not to eat that bullshit. It's not good to eat. First off, it cleans up the world, it cleans up the ocean, it cleans up the the, the earth in general, it cleans up the earth in general. Then you wonder why the earth, why the ocean is so damn dirty because you people are eating the cleanup. All right, you people are actually eating the cleanup. All right. It says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. So that kills that, that other thing. All you got to do is believe. You're, you're, you're in a grace. Man, and look, that's a, again, that's those dumbass Christians, man. You fake ass Christians, man. Y'all got a lot to pay for. All right. It said, and the guide to them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh by the Shai. That grace, that grace thing doesn't mean freely sin. We got so many scriptures on that, man. That grace period thing don't mean you can just do whatever it is you want to do. I just said what it is, a grace period. When you when you're in the grace period to, 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 to pay bills or whatever, it don't mean don't pay them. You idiot. It means it means that, okay. All right, we understand things happen. Okay, all right. Well, we'll work with you, and and then you know you pay that bill on the, on the extended date that we gave you. It's the same thing with this. Okay, we're surrounded by unrighteousness and infirmities. 
you know, we, we, we trying our best, you know, we trying our best, we praying and everything, man, we trying our best to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, knowingly that we can't keep them all, you know, and stuff like that, you know, that's when grace comes in, man, you know, when you're actually trying, not not trying, you know, anyway, um, and and that's going to be his elect, who the, who the Lord is going to look out for in those, in those days, man. All right. It says, let not your sins weigh, weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. So what is that pretty much saying? Pray. That's all that's pretty much saying is pray. You know. Because in these last days, what these what these so-called monkey pox and whatever else, you know, bullshit they come with and whatever else bullshit uh, uh, pestilence they come out with. The Lord is your is your savior. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is your savior. Giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekha Hakodash Shalom.